Hey everyone, it's Daphne from Scrap and Create, and today I'm going to share with you two new collections um, that we just got in and are shipping now from Chow Bella. One is Blooming, and the other is My Tiny World. So we're going to start with Blooming. Isn't this beautiful? I really like this collection so far. I haven't looked at anything besides the cover, but so we have the paper pad, which is one each of 12 double-sided papers. And then they also have a companion patterns pad, which is one each of eight double-sided papers. And I'll show that to you following this. So here's our cover. And as usual, they make it so that you can um, use lots of the elements of the cover. You could even fussy cut around this and make it the title to your project. Okay, isn't that lovely? These little cut aparts are really pretty. Oh, I love fussy cutting um, and adding layers. Well, I say I love it, but I, add, I love adding layers. It's the fussy cutting part I'm not so much in love with, but I like the look. This is very pretty. Um, hopefully it's coming through. It's pretty, uh, pretty rich and deep in color, even though it looks like a watercolor. It's it's still popping off the page pretty nicely. So this is lovely. This is really cheerful right here. We got our roses. Ooh, I love it when they put stripes in. Um, it just makes for interesting borders and um, textures, and I especially like stripes on my spine. Lots of cut-aparts here, which are, make for great card toppers or journaling cards. This this would probably be my cover. Let me look at that real quick. So we're looking at the 12 by 12, so let's get a, yeah, yeah, you could definitely do an eight and a half by eight and a half cover or eight and a half by 10 and a half um, for a larger format. And, the, and most of this would fit. You'd only have to cut off just a little bit. <clears throat> it's a nice background page. This is lovely. I love dandelions. Oh no, all of a sudden I got a thing about dandelions. I think it's the Make-A-Wish part. This is a nice page and a great background. Wow, this is really fantastic. Very different. There's a little, a little bit of writing in the background. Most of it's a little bit hard to read, but it is somewhat directional, something to be aware of when you're laying it down. This is proportioned well for an eight by eight, and, and so is this. So I can see um, both eight by eight and uh, eight by 10 or even 12 by 12 layouts with these. Sometimes the patterns are so big that it's, it's really hard um, to feature it without it covering the whole eight by eight. And it looks like we can go both ways with this. This is neat, I like this. This is very cheerful too. Okay, and this one is um, some cut aparts. These are definitely great for card toppers, or you can use the background. Oh, that's so pretty. I don't know what it is about violins. I guess they're just romantic. So that is the a double side, 12 double-sided papers for the paper pad. Now let's take a look at the patterns pad, which is kind of the equivalent of like a patterns and solids. Um, more of, ooh, I like that. More of the um, brands we carry are kind of doing a companion pack, which I like. This is lovely. These are probably about five and a, five and a half by five and a half. I should probably use the right side of the ruler. <clears throat> five and five eighths, so a little over five and a half. <clears throat> so these make great cards. They also um, uh, make great journaling on the back, and or you can use them as a design feature in one of your page layouts. <clears throat> this could be a background or lots and lots of fussy cutting for layering. You got both options. This is a nice background. And so is this. This is really cheerful, I like it. I love little tags and cut aparts. And, and then you have the option, so you can use some of these, but not all of them, and then you've got the option of this nice background to use somewhere else. Nice, I like that. <laughs> Very lovely. I like this one too, because it's got stripes in it. <laughs> 
which I like, and I could totally see this on a spine. Oh, that's lovely too. Nice background page. Yep. So ideally, and you'll notice as we're going along, there isn't like one big giant uh, image that you're trying to work around like in the um, pattern or in the, what do they call it? Paper pad. Here it's really meant to be more of the background pieces. Ooh, that's lovely. Okay, so that is um, what they call the patterns pad. So there are eight double-sided sheets and then they have companion rice papers. Let me see if I can find a white sheet to put behind it. So this is uh, one of the patterns inside the uh, paper pad. So is this. <clears throat> That's lovely. These make, so this is rice paper. Rice paper is a very thin, um, and you can see that there's like fabric running through it. So it's ideal for decoupage is what it's really used for. But people do use it on, ooh, this would make a great cover too. Um, use it on the cover of their albums and you use Mod Podge, you place it, push out all your wrinkles and you add another layer of Mod Podge or a matte medium. So I could see this as a cover and this on the spine. That would look really pretty. Um, this would also make a nice box if you wanted to do like a chipboard box. And then these really are, um, the way this is organized is really so that you could cut apart parts of it and layer it on top of something else. Um, so it's really pretty. So you could cut it, you wouldn't have to cut exactly on, on the butterfly, but cut around the butterfly and then add it to something else if you wanted to. Keeping in mind that it's very, very light paper, high fiber, but very thin. So you definitely have to put um, the decoupage underneath and on top to protect it. And then there's also an accompanying uh, paper pad of eight by eight, which is the paper pad and it has the 12 double-sided sheets in it. So that is blooming, which I'm really liking. And now we're gonna go take a look at My Tiny World, which is a children's collection. And it's, it's very cute. The images are very cute. Okay, so we've got an owl and a bunny. Oh, and I love balloons. Um, I like them because they're really unisex, right? You can have a baby girl or a baby boy. Balloons just kind of go every, go with anything. Got some stripes to work with here. This would make a nice cut apart and maybe even feature it on the cover with some dimension. It's lovely, nice background page. Lots of these cut apart journal cards. Um, so you could, you know, put milestones on these. So there's 12, so you could do a year if you wanted to. That's, that's cute. That's really cute. It's a cute collection. So in my last album, I had done something where I cut out the inside and preserved the frame and used the frame on the outside, which was Enchanted Forest. I might, I might look at doing that on this too, because it's a cute frame. That's, that's a nice background page. Okay, we've got some lavender here. <clears throat> polka dots, love the polka dots. More frames, more stripes. So you can use those as borders, that's really cute. They even put a place for a picture on this one if you wanted to use it as a 12 by 12. But you could also use it on an eight by eight and cut these elements out and push them toward this and have an eight by eight layout easily. <clears throat> That's lovely. Oh, more stripes, yay. This is a nice background. I love the little lamb. <laughs> That's so cute. Cute little elephant. There's our little owl. Oh, this is really nice. This is lovely. So even just the backgrounds, they don't have to be kitty. They're just very, you know, spring, Easter pastels. Lovely. I like these little quilt covered houses. Look how sweet that is. That's pretty clever. I like it. 
that's really sweet. Okay, so that is, what did I say? It's the 12 by 12, 12 each paper pad. And now we're gonna look at the patterns pad, which has eight double-sided papers. Cute. So you could customize it, add some names. The event name, the child's name. <clears throat> Lots of cut aparts. Look at the nice shapes these have. That's nice, instead of just the plain old regular tags, we've got some variation. Awesome cut aparts. If you don't want to cut apart, there's a beautiful background page for you. Some more cut aparts and tags. These would, the, fussy cutting these and just adding them on opposing corners on a photo um, as an embellishment that would look beautiful and a nice background page both of them lots of stripes stripes are easy to use that's cute too oh look at that <laughs> that's really pretty oh i like that i'm gonna have to pull in so you know i always kind of think of things in a layout um, so, you know, you always have two pages facing each other. And I remember in here, this, which is the main pack, there's a, a lavender. Yeah. I think this is it. That goes with this lavender. So that looks nice together. So that's interesting. And then this. Uh, there was another one that goes with this really well. Even this pattern right here matches this really well. And this goes together. So you can see how these, these two uh, collection packs, you know, accent one another. Okay, that's a nice simple background. So is this. And then that's beautiful. I think that might be the back of my, of my album. So something a little bit bigger on the front, and this would be the pattern on the back, and then maybe some stripes on the spine. So that's this, and I don't know who's doing something on that one, but I like it. I wouldn't mind working on it. And of course, it comes in an eight by eight too. Now the eight by eight is only uh, the twelve is only the twelve sheet double sided. There's no background or uh, there's no patterns. Cute, cute. Got all our balloons here. This would make a super cute uh, trinket box. Little little keepsakes. That's lovely, and then a nice simple stripe here. And as you can see, it goes with pretty much everything, right? This blue is in everything. So you can see the balloons. It's beautiful. So um, again, this is the rice paper that we have available. And this collection is just adorable. So this is Chabella. Um, we just received it, so it is now shipping. If you haven't ordered or pre-ordered yet, go over there and take a look at My Tiny World in Chabella and Blooming. Um, that's the latest collection we have. And for those of you that are interested, what I'm working on right now is Stamperia Our Way. So this should be out shortly. Um, this will be an eight and a half by eight and a half by two and a half mini album. Uh, just so you know, that's what's in the hopper right now. And then I don't know what I'm working on next. I asked Julie to think about what's next for us. So I should know that in a day or two, probably while I'm finishing um, the tutorials for Our Way, I'll be able to give you guys a heads up on what it is. So that's it. For today. Thanks everybody for tuning in. This is Daphne from Scrapping Crate. We'll see you soon.